Hi everybody, this is Jeff Crane again. Uh, last night I was doing some studying. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people who are like me who can't sleep at night. And so what I do is I'll read and I'll brush up on a few things. Well, I was uh, watching some videos on YouTube and I strongly suggest either reading um, or listening or watching materials that um, add to that library in your brain where you can take from at any given time in any situation. Well, this morning, as I was working out at the office, something popped into my brain. Um, you know, every, often I'll have people ask me uh, questions about how to sell this or how to market that. So this one minute video is going to be on how to sell anything. Here's the real super basics of it all. You ready? Here it goes. Number one, you've got to create an image which creates a vision. When you're talking to somebody, let's say that you're an uh, you're, you're a, a automobile salesperson. Somebody comes on a lot and uh, it's a man and a woman and they're looking in the uh, Honda Accord section there at the Honda dealership and you walk up Hey folks, how are you today? Fantastic. Isn't that a beautiful car? Yes, it is. That white paint, isn't that amazing? Did you know that in the United States, that's the number one color is white? It's gorgeous. We have five coats of, of clear coat on it. Beautiful. Did you look inside? Look at this tan leather interior. I, you know, we've only just met, but are you more of the tan or the leather type? Or, you know, the leather or the cloth type? Uh, the tan or the gray type. Let's paint some pictures for these people, folks. So what the first thing you do is create an image. This image is going to create a vision for them. The people are now going to think, wow, I really like the tan cloth. Yeah, and that one right there would probably fit our needs. They start thinking themselves and putting their own vision to place. All you're doing is giving them pictures. It's kind of like Pinterest, which is an ingenious site. You have the opportunity of seeing all these images and bringing them and put, pinning them to yourself so you can access them at any time. And it's like a storyboard and each one of these images means something to you. Give them images to create a vision so that they have better understanding because here's the crux of it all. Two things cannot occupy the mind at the same time. Now we're not talking about the brain. We know the brain has millions and billions and zillions of things going on at the same exact time. But we're talking about your mind. We're talking about your emotional state. Okay. So let's give you another example of that same car salesperson. You come on the lot and they're like, hey guys, how's it going? Good. Hey man, uh, how much money do you have to spend today? Done. Conversation's over with. You've created no vision. You've created no reason for them to even give that information. And why would they? You haven't created the picture that allows them to create the, image, the, the vision, which gives them the emotions to be able to even have a conversation like that. So what you do is you start one at a time and give them some time to think about that and put those pictures together. If you're on the phone with somebody and you don't have the ability of demonstrating something visually, what would you do? 90% of you are thinking really hard right now. That other 10%, they said, tell a story. If you tell a story, it starts from a focal point. I was in California. I went down the California coast in my van again with my girlfriend. We stopped at various quaint places for lunch. We stopped in a, a place to go surfing. Got out my surfboard, waxed it up. The waves were about five, six feet tall. It was beautiful. As we got out of the water, I noticed that there were some dolphins swimming by. That's the picture that you paint. Now you can see the dolphin, you can see the waves, you can see the surfboard, you can see the white van again down the California coast. Okay? So how do you sell anything? You've got to, to give them images of something that is uh, beneficial to them, that they're interested in, which will give them the vision, which will, they'll put that in their mind, and what they'll do, and I'm gonna leave this with you, they're going to take, they're gonna put that in their box, that little box of theirs that says, okay, all those images I'm gonna put in, and they're gonna put a story together, their own story, and it's gonna be based on a few things. It's gonna be based on their past experiences, 
and it's all going to be based on trust if those pictures and those images match their vision of what they want okay I hope this helps today guys I'm gonna make this really super quick when you're talking with somebody try not to give them two opposing pictures at the same time if I was talking about the ocean and I automatically threw something in there about elephants you'd be completely thrown away and thrown off on that vision two thoughts cannot occupy at the same time so one at a time give them some pictures let them create that storyboard themselves you're going to start asking questions and remember they're going to go based on their past experiences so you've got to develop trust and the way you develop trust is to make sure that that vision that they're creating is the same vision based on those images that you've given them all right i hope this helped guys have a wonderful day.